Hiya. The Scary Fairies and I have not long come back from doing a mission in Trowbridge, a fairly big town locally. It's actually the capital city, the county town of Wiltshire. Quite a big, busy place. We started off our mission in the Shire's shopping centre, just a shopping mall. Um, within minutes of us starting, in actual fact, I hadn't even got the camera started because an old friend came past, so I hadn't got round to starting the camera. A security guard arrived and sort of informed us very politely but very firmly that we couldn't do what we were doing there because we didn't have permission to be there. Um, we did, of course, point out that what we were doing was for free. We were raising energy. We weren't making any money out of it. Um, it wasn't blah, blah, blah. Um, but he told us that we had no permission and we couldn't stay there and we had to leave. Uh, he was very polite about it, but he did make sure that he told us that he had been responsible for putting people into hospital and that if we didn't leave, that he and his colleagues would physically remove us, um, which was not, it wasn't a nice feeling. Now, actually, while we were in Trowbridge, we did meet some absolutely wonderful people. We had some gorgeous experiences, met some very special people, shared some very special hugs. I was actually the camera woman, um, which is, was a bit testing for me because I actually want to join in with the hugs. But yeah, it, it was a bit of an unusual mission, but it, it was a successful one. Um, some strange experiences. Then I bumped into a lady who we had seen whilst hugging. I bumped into her in Tesco's and she asked me, as a lot of people do ask me, why do you do this? What's it all about? So I started explaining to her um, that, that a simple way of putting it is that um, Years ago, um, my granddad, um, well not actually my granddad, my then husband's granddad, but he felt like my granddad, Pop, um, said to me, don't let the buggers get you down. And that, I suppose, sums up why I do this going around hugging, making videos that hopefully make people smile and lifts their energy a bit, raises their vibration. And um, so she started asking me about what are the things that I think are a bit difficult in the world. Now I said, well, you know, apart from all the obvious things like bills, do da de da de da all the stuff about swine flu, um, the swine flu vaccination, the, the fact that that appears to be, there appears to be legislation going on all over the world trying to make it compulsory for people to have vaccinations. She knew nothing about it. She thought that the that swine flu was real, that there was really this scary disease that was possibly going to come and sort of wipe out half her family. I pointed out to her that I and lots of other people I know have actually had swine flu and we're still here. And in theory, I'm a high risk case for it, you know, due to radiotherapy and chemotherapy treatment. My immune system's not apparently as good as it could be, but yeah, I appear to have got rid of swine flu. And yeah, I was ill for a while, but I'm all right. And then we got on the subject of Sybil, Sybil, <laughs> Basil Forty. We got on the subject of civil liberties and how they have been eroded and undermined. Um, she had no idea how difficult it is nowadays for people to just gather together peacefully to share information, share music, share love, share laughter, just be happy and good together. She had no idea how much our civil liberties have been 
undermined by in the gu under the guise of health and safety regulations they make it so that um, you have to have so much um, welfare cover so many paramedics per so many people this sort of um, so much um, medical equipment per so many people um, and the security of course the old thorny question of the security about how much security you have to have about how you have to have police in place and you have to pay for them whether you want them or not you've got to pay for them and pay a lot of money she didn't know that you, you can't um, speak freely like you used to there is legislation that makes speaking your mind not as free as it was before and she didn't know that nowadays it is not illegal to torture prisoners. I, I was astounded when via a, a Channel 4 program I found this out. But I told her all this. And of course, as is the way, when you start telling people this information, she got quite worried. She got a bit scared. Now that's the danger with sharing information and I hope I got, across, got it across to her and that I will in some way get it across to people that sharing information isn't to scare everybody. It's because if we have knowledge then we have power over our own lives. Not power over other people, knowledge is power. But it's power over our own lives to know what's going on and what we are dealing with rather than just being this scared little thing sitting there not knowing what's going on if you know what's going on then you can be ready to deal with it and the way for me doing all the videos the reason I do them is to encourage people to come from love not from fear love and fear cannot stay in the same place they, they can't exist in the same place so if we encourage each other to stay in love to share love to share compassion to be kind to do just random acts of kindness every day for no other reason than the joy of doing them, not even for any reward, just to do them. Then we keep that collective energy high and that's what we need to do. We need to support each other, love each other, hug each other, show compassion and care and tenderness and smile, love each other. That way we keep the energy high and as my granddad would have said, then the buggers can't get us down, they can't get us because we are smiling, we are happy, we are loved, loved and loving and we are strong. So that's why I do the videos, just in case anybody was wondering. Take care, be happy, love each other, hug some smiles to you.